Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you, yes you, about why Wonder Woman did not suck. <laughs> and uh, this is a, a going to be both a follow-up of a video I did uh, about rumors that Wonder Woman was going to suck. And um, that video wasn't derived from me. It wasn't my opinion. It was... Uh, uh, sup supposedly going around from a credible source who had had early pre-screenings to it, but I never believed the rumor, and I spoke uh, uh, a lot about why I didn't believe it and why the exact opposite would happen. Um, There's also going to be a review uh, spoiler field at that, so. Guys, uh, before I get into this, uh, I, I know Wonder Woman's been out uh, pushing about a week now. That's given quite a few people a chance to see the movie. And uh, if you haven't seen Wonder Woman yet, don't like to be spoiled, please go see the movie first. You can always come back later, watch my video on this, hit the subscribe button so you'll know where to find me, and you can get the full story of why Wonder Woman doesn't suck. So, what we'll do, we'll give you a few minutes to get out, but come back later, uh, so you can hear why it didn't suck, uh, and again, guys, this will be, uh, uh, you know, uh, content feel, you know, about why it didn't suck, that's why I don't want to spoil the movie, some things may come up that, uh, you won't like me, uh, if you, you're not surprised with the movie, so, <laughs> so I'll give you a moment to get out. And three, two, one. Okay, so guys, let's talk about uh, why Wonder Woman didn't suck. Uh, why uh, on Rotten Tomatoes it received such a high score. And why it might very well be not only the best DC uh, film to date, but one of the best superhero films to date. Um, and uh, I'm going to touch on some reasons why I believe that to be the case. So, let's get into it. So, Wonder Woman and the DC Legacy. So, you know, I have been saying, guys, from the last video, and if you haven't seen the last video about the Wonder Woman, uh, be sure and check that out. But, uh, I was saying that Gal Gadot, her portrayal of Wonder Woman, uh, pretty much in my opinion, saved the entire Batman vs. Superman movie. And uh, I thought she did such a great job. She was my favorite part of that movie. And I just knew going into this, I was going to get more of that. At how she owned the role of Wonder Woman, I just knew that uh, she was going to do great because I understand um, the importance of character-driven film. And I, Gal Gadot... Uh, you know, shine this the character of woman woman very well. Um, and this is something that DC uh, or the uh, DCEU is able to do quite well. And that's uh, do these kind of character-driven superhero films. And uh, I don't think uh, Marvel... Marvel is really good at... Um, pulling off very difficult superhero films, very fun films, very enjoyable films, and entertaining films. But in my opinion, Marvel has never really been able to reach the pinnacle like DC as far as getting this very uh, realistic uh, human feel to a superhero movie, you know, uh, that DC has been able to achieve. And some examples of that uh, have been the Donner's, the first Superman, the original Superman by Donner, uh, by Richard Donner. And uh, uh, some people are coming Wonder Woman to that movie, the very human element of that movie, the very emotional parts of that movie. And there, there, there's also scenes in Wonder Woman that pays homage, uh, basically, to that film. But the depth of that film... The actors in that film and, uh, you know, how they were able to reach us emotionally and basically uh, 
create this very well done uh, uh, character developed film uh, it's something that a lot of superhero films just haven't been able to touch you know they just haven't quite been able to get there with them and Wonder Woman comes very close to doing that very close to doing that uh, in this film you know she's this uh, she lives in this rural, uh, the sheltered rural on the island of Themyscira, and she and she's very has this very naive uh, uh, view of her purpose in the entire world, and it, it kind of harkens back to again. I, I I I'm excited about how Patty Jenkins did Wonder Woman because uh, I, this is what I was looking for, and just not just uh, you know about getting DC back on track and you know in their uh situation with marvel universe and trying to copy marvel not just getting them back on track to finally do a good film but just getting back on track to doing an overall good superhero film like uh, they did, used to do back in the days overall you know where you got this full developed movie um and uh, it just reminded me so much of this scene back in the original superman when uh, he's being interviewed with Lois Lane, and he goes, uh, she asks him, uh, you know, what's what's he stand for? He he goes, he's here to fight for truth, justice, in the American way. <laughs> and that same uh, uh, very uh, uh, simplified view uh, of of the world is what I got in the care of Wonder Woman. I just love how Gal G Gadot brought, brought that innocence. Uh, she did just an excellent job at it. Uh, just had me drawn so well into the, so well into the movie. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the film itself, um, you know, of course, uh, we got to see, uh, how, the origin story of Wonder Woman. And that's another thing I want to talk about is, uh, 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 you know, basically how Wonder Woman uh, came to be, uh, it, you know, in this, uh, we got that, uh, uh, or, 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 or I'm sorry, rather, uh, how well DC is with doing standalone films. Um, they're, they're, they're much more better at that than uh, I think Marvel is. And in this and in this film you got to see uh and that's a story we had never really seen told on the silver screen, Wonder Woman. You know, uh so I, I think going in, that intrigued us a lot too, that we get to see Wonder Woman on the silver screen for the first time. And they just really did a very excellent job uh at doing it. Um but, you know, we open up in their mascara, and we got to see Wonder Woman going up, going, uh, growing up in the first act of uh, Wonder Woman. And, of course, the cinematography looked great. It didn't look uh, too over-CGI'd. Uh, when it got to the end, it, it, it really, you know, did all that CGI stuff. But it wasn't so bad. I, I, I kind of, you know, it wasn't as bad as when they did... Um, uh, Batman versus Superman at the end when they were fighting Doomsday, you know, uh, even, even though I didn't so much mind, even if it would have just been overfilled with CGI, um, you know, towards the end, because I saw what Wonder Woman did and Batman versus Superman, again, her part was a favorite part of mine for that, her action sequences, so the cinematography was good, but also, the uh the, the the fight sequences were good. I thought they were I thought they were well done. All the action scenes I thought were awesome. And that's something too that uh I don't um that I think Man of Steel failed that. I didn't like all the action sequences of Man of Steel. They were just over CGI. I didn't like them at all. But in Wonder Woman, they just really worked well. So you know we got this film that was just great to look at it was really good cinematography all of the action sequences were awesome they weren't uh exhausting uh you know like some movies and uh um, just the, the way the plot moved around along was was also great and you know in the beginning um we got this story about how Themyscira was created how uh basically the world had been um uh, of man had been turned against the gods 
through Aries. And I found that kind of interesting because uh, they're telling the story of Aries, how and it kind of sounds like the story of, of Satan, the devil, in Judeo-Christian belief. And, uh, you know, where he's, uh, it's not so much that Aries was about um, uh, this evil, just this evil force that, uh, that consumed mankind and was making them do these things. He was more like the devil in details, or he kind of fell under the umbrella of the devil made me do it. Whereas he was, it, the world was more under the influence of Aries, but still in their own scope of free will to make their own choice. And I just, I just loved how they set all that up to where Wonder Woman had to come face to face with the uh you know the truth that it wasn't so much Aries that was making the world the way it was but it was mankind and his own free will that was doing it and she had to uh basically uh drop her her naive state of mind from through mascara and accept that but at the same time accept all the good things that had mankind was capable of and i i really like i really love that uh, part of the film and uh, and, I, and that's what I'm trying to get at guys the action sequences were good but I think what really made this movie good was just all those little details like that in the goods in this good this good storytelling and uh, you know not to knock Marvel I, I like Marvel I enjoy Marvel movies I really do but I, I feel like Marvel movies don't quite reach the pinnacle of the storytelling with DC and the reason I say that because you know Marvel Marvel movies to me are very uh, uh, their stories are very thin layered you know there's it's, it's very comic comic booky with a lot of Marvel films with some exceptions but for the most part what the direction Marvel's going in now I believe we're gonna deal with a lot of thin layer very comic Mickey things, not deep driven plots like we got with Wonder Woman because we got a lot in Wonder Woman. We got a lot about, you know, uh, you know, questioning, uh, you know, from a philosophical standpoint, uh, is man uh, evil? Is he good? Uh, is there some outside force that's driving him to be evil? Or was just man all along, <laughs> you know? And I loved that part. And I and I loved uh, I loved Aries in this film. You know, we got the we got to see that. Uh, and, and it was something about uh, Danny Houston's character that just had me going in. Even even before I saw the movie, just the entire movie just had me going. I don't think he's going to be Aries. I kept thinking that. He was somebody uh, who was an operative of Ares, you know, which is basically that's revealed he he was, you know, the Ares, he was under the influence of Ares. Um, but, you know, we got to learn that he was not Ares. Um, and, I, and, and through the movie, that didn't surprise me because uh, as he was inhaling the chemicals that were created, uh, you know, to make this ultimate weapon to uh, stop the armistice from being signed. Um, uh, his character, I believe his name was General Ludvon or something like that. Uh, you know, he would have to inhale this chemical and it seemed to give him some type of power or strength. And I was like, hmm, it just seems kind of weird that uh, if he was the god Ares, he would have to be powered by something of that. You know, I, I, it just didn't make sense to me. And I really start to think that, yeah, he's not going to be Ares. And I was wondering how they were going to do Ares. If Ares was just going to kind of appear uh, as a energy form or in the background. But we got to see Ares in his full glory, the comic booky Ares in the nice armor, wielding his intense power. And of course, you know, uh, he was the, uh, the, uh, the, the knighted uh, person, I forget his name, Sir, was it Sir? I can't remember, but he was working for the parliament and uh, the movie did a great job of, you know, making us feel like uh, he was on their side. And I kind of like that because it, it, it did kind of give us that reveal at the end, you know, of, um, 
you know, that, uh, or I'm sorry, give us that surprise, little surprise twist at the end, which I was kind of uh, expecting, but where they did surprise me is how they did it. And uh, just, uh, it was just a very, uh, they, they, they really got us to care about the characters. Like I said, I knew I wasn't going to have a problem at all with this film because Gal Gadot had already drawn me in and made me care about her Wonder Woman. So I knew going into this movie, I was going to always care about her character. But everybody else's characters I cared about as well. I cared about every every character and what everybody did in this movie. And uh, that was that was awesome. Even her uh, even her mom, her Hippolyta on the island of the Amazons, her fear uh not to um uh you know have wonder woman discover who she was you know this fear that a real mother would have for her child with a destiny and uh what i liked is she never revealed it she never now you know for better or worse you know whether that was good or bad for wonder woman or not she never revealed to wonder woman that she was the, uh, the the daughter of Zeus. She was a god herself, and that she was actually the god killer. Now I don't know if they knew if she if that weapon, um, the the sword that they made a big deal about was really the god killer or not. I don't know if Hippolyta knew that or the Amazons. My my assumption is they didn't. But uh, you know we got to find out that it was really you know Diana, of course, that was the god killer. God killer. And like I said, guys, everything in this movie is just done. Excellent, excellent job. Yes, guys, this movie does not suck 110%. It does not suck. In fact, I'll go on record and say it's one of the best superhero films ever created, bar none. It's up there with the first Superman. Uh, definitely would fit somewhere, maybe like the top three or four. Uh, you know, Wonder Woman. And I like that because, uh, you know, we kind of had this male-female division where, you know, we got a lot of these, uh, even in the comment sections, I've seen some people who have tried to kind of divide Wonder Woman's um, heroism up because she's a woman by, you know, saying she's an instrument of feminist and things like that. But this movie didn't play into any political uh, uh arena and i appreciated that about the movie i looked at wonder woman like a regular superhero and it was just like i look at superman or batman or any of them uh I, I, her being a woman just kind of came secondary to her being a hero for me and i say kudos to uh patty patty jenkins for being able to pull that off and not make her this uh girl power too where they just gotta keep uh displaying and expressing that oh she's a powerful woman and look what she's doing to this guy and she's breaking him and she's bending him and that wasn't necessary the story of wonder woman was so great on its own as a hero it didn't have to play in any into any uh political uh arena and uh that also was awesome just a great movie guys a great great movie uh i agree 100 percent with the Tomato score. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that put me off about this film. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, Chris Pine, uh, who played uh, Captain uh, S S Trevor, um, you know, I like him, you know, as he plays Captain Kirk and things like that. And I've grown, uh, he has a way of pulling off humor and being charming with it. And think that, and uh, that didn't really. Uh, this is just just to try to find something wrong with film, you know, because it, it was really good, and I really don't have any really bad things to say about it. But it was just certain parts of his comic relief sometimes that, for me, would kind of make things a little bit, uh, you know, uh, just a little bit. Uh, I, I thought he could have toned down the comic relief just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I mean, because you need that. You need a little break from the film. You need a little humor. You, know, you can't just go through serious all the time where the movie's not enjoyable. But like I said, DC stories, they tell a more compelling story to me that's more realistic. With what would happen if a, or, or, or to closest in my opinion is to what would happen if a person with this psychology, a person with these abilities were to enter the real world and what the effect would be on the rest of us and in them as well, uh, provided that they kind of come from a human psyche somewhat. And I'm assuming that they would have to just tap it 
by being in a human world. <laughs> but anyway, guys, an uh, awesome movie. No, this movie does not suck. I have to say it again. Uh, I really enjoyed it. One of my favorite superhero films. The action sequences were awesome. Uh, Ares was awesome in the movie. Uh, great film. And because of this, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what Gal that's going to do in the Justice League. But here's what I'm... I'm, I'm trying to hope won't happen. Uh, I hope that it doesn't, Justice League for me doesn't become like Batman vs. Superman became. And what that was, was I only really liked that movie because Wonder Woman was in it. Uh, so I hope Justice League is, doesn't become, I only like Justice League because Wonder Woman is in it. Because right now with everything I've seen, that's about the, <laughs> you know, the only character I've liked in the movie. But anyway, guys, give me your opinions. Uh, I have to... Give a resounding, confirmed movie doesn't suck. One of the best superhero films to date so far. Give me your opinion in the comment section. I know on the last video, you guys had a lot to say uh, about, um, you know, the rumors this is going to suck. And uh, there are some people still trying to say it sucks. And I don't know. I think they're going to have a hard time with that argument. I think they're going to be, uh, I think it's going to be worse than Man of Steel was because it, it would Man of Steel, uh, and, and Man of Steel couldn't ha hold the characters, but I just have to say that it did not. A uh, Man of Steel had a very divided audience. Uh, you know, uh, it was almost split down the middle. Um, and so it was kind of easy for people to really not like the film, uh, but with Wonder Woman, I see a few people trying to say it wasn't a great film and ranting that it it sucked and things like that. But they're gonna, I think they're gonna have a hard time pulling that off because this movie was, I think, was just too well done. But anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, give me yours uh, in the comment section. And guys, if you like content like this, don't forget the either like dislike doesn't really matter if you like or dislike because i just want to put this out there if you don't know that youtube treats likes and dislikes the same so you hit a dislike on there it's going to push youtube's going to push the video to the forefront just want to let you guys know that who keep if you really dislike something probably best not to comment at all <laughs> you know if you really you know if you really want you know just something to think about but anyway guys uh, until next time, take care.